Hi guys, this is Fly with Suzy. Today we're going to talk about VFR radio communication practice number two, initial contact and re requesting taxi clearance. So we talked about the eight is how to obtain, how to write it down from the previous video. If you haven't checked it out, please check it out. So once you obtain ATIS, number one, you're going to find out the appropriate ATC unit and its frequency. Number two, you're going to prepare what you're going to say and in which order. So you want to include these five items for your initial contact and taxi request. Number one, who I am calling and who I am, where I am and which information I have from ATIS and what I want to do. For example, I'll give you a scenario. Your aircraft is Cessna 152 and your call sign is Gold Mike Sierra Delta. You're on apron one of Pitt Meadows Airport. You want to practice numerous takeoffs and landings in the circuit. You have obtained ATIS information alpha. Are you ready to make a call? Here is my radio call. Pitt Ground Cessna 152 Gold Mike Sierra Delta on apron one with information alpha for circuits. Was it too fast? I will slow it down. Let's read it out loud together. Pick ground Cessna 152 Gold Mike Sierra Delta on apron 1 with information alpha for circuits. Now let's read it out loud again with original speed. Pick ground Cessna 152 Gold Mike Sierra Delta on apron 1 with information alpha for circuits. Good job! This time try with our script. Pick ground Cessna 152 Gold Mike Sierra Delta on apron 1 with information alpha for circuits. Finally, let's practice with original speed and no script. Are you ready for this? Pick ground Cessna 152 Gold Mike Sierra Delta on apron 1 with information alpha for circuits. Now, let's practice scenario number 2. Everything remains the same, but you want to go to practice the area north at 2000 feet. Pick ground Cessna 152 Gold Mike Sierra Delta on apron 1 with information alpha to practice area north 2000 feet. I know you can do it with a script, so let's give it a shot. Pick ground Cessna 152 Gold Mike Sierra Delta on apron 1 with information alpha to practice area north 2000 feet. Lastly, let's practice scenario number 3. Everything remains the same, but you want to make a cross country flight to Chilliwag and you have filed a VFR flight plan already. Pick ground Cessna 152 Gold Mike Sierra Delta on apron 1 with information alpha on VFR flight plan to Chilliwack. I know you can do it with a script, so let's give it a shot. Pick ground Cessna 152 Gold Mike Sierra Delta on apron 1 with information alpha on VFR flight plan to Chilliwack. Now you know what to say. Let's listen to the ground and write down for readback. Cessna Golf Mike Zero Delta, pick ground runway 26 left, altimeter 29884, taxi alpha, contact 126.3, holding short, squawk 3064. Okay, okay, I will give you a little tip. ATC will give you those information in the same order all the time, just like you follow the five steps for your initial call. Now, let's listen one more time and write them all down. Cessna Golf Mike Zero Delta, pick ground runway 26 left, altimeter 29884, Taxi Alpha, contact tower 126.3, holding short, squawk 3064. Did you get them all? Here's the answer. Tesla Golf Mike Zero Delta, pick ground runway 26 left, altimeter 29884. Taxi Alpha, contact tower 126.3, holding short, squawk 3064. Now, it's your turn to read back. To make your life easy, you don't need to read back everything because we are flying under VFR. However, you must read back these items below. 1. Runway in use. 2. Taxi instruction. 3. Holding short. 4. Squawk code. 5. And your call sign. Now, let's read back the 5 items. 26 left, alpha, holding short, 3064, max zero delta. Read back practice number 2. Here are some more read back practice for you. Testing off Mike Zero Delta, pick ground, runway 26 left, altimeter 2994, taxi by alpha, squawk 3057, contact tower holding short. Okay, one more time. Testing Golf Mike Zero Delta, pick ground, runway 26 left, altimeter 2994, taxi by alpha, squawk 3057, contact tower holding short. Now, let's read back the five items. 26 left, alpha, holding short, 3057, Mike Zero Delta. There you have it. Now, let's put them all together and listen to one of my students' radio call. This ground Cessna 152 Golf Mike Sierra Delta, April 1 request taxi for local east and we have echo. 
Delta Smoke Golf, Mike Zero Delta, pick ground runway 26 left, Delta Meta 29884, taxi Alpha, contact tower 126 decimal 3, holding short, squawk 3064. Contact tower holding short 3064 on the bar, sir. Mike Zero Delta. One more time. Pitch ground, Cessna 152, call Mike Zero Delta, apron 1, request taxi for local east, and we have echo. Cessna Golf, Mike Zero Delta, pick ground runway 26 left, Delta Meta 29884. Taxi Alpha, contact tower 126 decimal 3, holding short, squawk 3064. Contact tower holding short 3064 on the bar, sir. Mike Zero Delta. That was pretty good. Once you obtain taxi clearance or instruction, number one, taxi as instructed. Number two, complete run up and pre takeoff checklist. Three, change the frequency to tower. Number four, hold short of the runway. Five, contact tower for takeoff clearance. Now, I have a question for you. Have a look at the airport data of Pitt Meadows Airport from CFS. Currently, you're on apron one. If runway 180 is in use, what taxi instructions can you expect? Leave a comment below. Next practice is takeoff clearance. If you like more practice videos like this, please like this video, subscribe, and turn on the notification button. Thanks for watching. Have a safe flight. See you guys. Bye bye.